doesn't look like a particularly vintage Stanford team in a lot of ways. Um, is it as simple as saying, you know, the quarterback situation has been odd and going back and forth and McCaffrey's been hurt? Are you seeing things up front that aren't the typical kind of Stanford, um, the way they play? Teams have been able to take advantage of. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, this is obviously outside looking in. Uh, there's their their um, diversity of tight ends maybe is is different than it has been in, than than it has been in the past. Um, how they've uh, deployed guys, you know, in the past they've had four or five tight ends that that were kind of all had their their unique role, uh, and so that looks a little bit different. Uh, but they can still, you know, get whatever that is, lots of pounds in, in between the hashes and, and, and pound it. Uh, they can still spread you out and run it. And, and I think, the, again, the quarterback run game, uh, the commitment to how they, they did a lot of Wildcat last week, commitment to changing all those things up, uh, really you can see they have a, a juice about them, a confidence about them that they did not have earlier on film, and it's, it's different. Sounds like Jarrett Lacoste is getting some work as Christian McCaffrey on the scout team. Obviously, it's hard to simulate that type of talent with one guy. What are the ways you try to get your defense ready on the scout team level to simulate McCaffrey? Yeah, I mean, trying to trying to get a, a fresh guy in there every play uh, as much as possible, which, again, it's hard to simulate, like you said, or emulate that one person. Um, but try to get a fresh guy if he's whatever, running a route and then running in an inside run play and then running wildcat quarterback. Those are kind of unique uh, skill sets and try to get somebody fresh that is close to, you know, close to his uh, speed or power or whatever. Um, and then in the return game, just, just having a total commitment to getting to that guy, getting every person to finish uh, and because he'll break tackles. He's going to break some tackles. Going off of Andrew's question there on simulating guys on other teams, it sounded like Nick Saban found a, a rule where you can bring back former players to run on your practice squad. They brought back Trent Richardson to to emulate Leonard Fournette. Have you ever done anything like that, or, or did you know about that rule? We we have heard about that in the past. We've we've often joked about guys we'd like to have come back, but uh, uh, yeah, we could use a few extra linemen this week to 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 simulate what what they do and and uh, uh, yeah. We'd have to sign sign some waivers, probably get that get the insurance side of it uh, taken care of. Talking more with John Neal yesterday, he said you guys have been maybe doing some more live stuff at practice because of how everything went against USC, maybe not being as fully prepared, and then going into Stanford. Just wondering how preparation, if at all, has changed this week. Uh, it's been been similar. I mean, we've we've taken some spots throughout the year of of. Uh, Whatever a live coverage on John Ross or Dory Jackson or this week McCaffrey, uh, a different you know a different again a, just a different set of, of skills. Um, sometimes that's uh, the the seven O lineman unit, the eight O lineman unit that they have, uh, and trying to to just get our defense to 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 you know react instantly and play that third and inches, fourth and inches. Um, but we've done something like that each each week, um, and and uh, you know. We'll continue to do that.